Okay guys, right, we're back for another challenge this week. So this week, we are gonna be focused again on our keepy uppies, keeping the ball up. Okay, I'm gonna show you some different ways and we can do that, some different techniques to be able to keep the ball up and keep it under control as well. Okay, so to start with, again, like every session, I've got my square set up. Okay, so this is my area I'm gonna use. Don't need a really big, massive space. Um, we want to be keeping it under control, want to keep it close anyway. So I've got my square set up. This is my area. I'm going to try and keep the ball within this area. If I can keep it tighter than that, then even better. Okay, um, and all I'm going to do to start with, just to get us going, okay, so all I'm going to do is look to hold the ball in my hand to start with, and I'm just going to practice dropping it, bouncing it, kicking it, and then catching it. So it's just a bounce, kick, and a catch. If I can do that with both feet, bounce, kick, catch, bounce, kick, catch you might want to move while you do it move to a new bit of the square bounce kick catch move to a new bit of the square bounce kick catch every time count how many you can do maybe time yourself for a minute see how many of these you can do and that's just going to get us going get us ready okay um, when we're doing our keepy ups think about what type part of the foot you're using as well mainly I'm trying to use my laces to just bring the ball back to me I might use the side of my foot sometimes but majority of the time I want to use those laces to bring the ball back towards me every time. Okay, so give that a go, give yourself a minute, see how many you can get. Okay, perfect, so now you've got your score for a minute. You're going to try and beat that now. We're going to make it a little bit harder, so we're going to progress it a little bit each time. This time, it's going to be a bounce, kick, kick, and then a catch. Okay, again, we don't want it going too high, so try and keep it down, so it's going to be drop, kick kick catch we're still letting it bounce and we're still catching it bounce kick kick with both feet catch if you want to just use one foot that's fine try and use both feet if you can even your weaker foot move to a new bit kick catch remember to try and use those laces catch count how many sets you can do give yourself a minute and see how many you can get and see what your best score is Okay, so as you notice in the first couple, I was dropping the ball with my hands. Now we're going to start introducing ways to get the ball up without using our hands. So I'm going to just look to flick it up. I'm going to gently use the sole of my foot, I've spoken about that before, the bottom of our foot just here, to roll the ball back towards me. And I'm going to flick it up, kick, kick, catch. Move to a new bit, back on the floor again. I'm flicking it up, using those laces to kick it, putting the ball down in a new bit. Flick, flick, catch. So all I'm doing is I'm rolling it back towards me with the sole and then using the part of my toe there to almost flick the ball up back towards me and catch the ball and move on. Again, in a minute, see how many of those you can do as well. Okay, excellent. Now we're going to look to get different parts of our body involved. Okay, so it's getting a little bit harder each time. And again, I want to see how many you can do in a minute of the particular skill. This time, again, we're going to look to flick it off the floor, but I'll give you a choice. If that's too hard, okay, then I'll allow you to just keep, you can keep bouncing it, kicking it, and make sure you get that right. That's the most important thing. If that's too easy dropping it, then again, I've already shown you how to flick it up and, uh, and kick it. See how many of those you can do as well as we go. All right, so this time, Again, I'm going to try not to move as much now. This is my square. I'm going to try and stay as central as I can. And I'm going to look to flick it up. It's going to be a kick, a kick, and a knee, and then back down. Okay? And again, it's going to be a kick, a kick, a knee, back down. So we're just building it up slowly. A kick, a kick, a knee, and then back down again. A kick, a kick, a knee, and then back down. Okay? So we're just building it up gradually each time. Okay? See how many of those you can do. So it's both feet, one of your knees, back down in a minute, go. Now, all of those, what we put together, we're gonna to try and do continuously throughout now. So we're not gonna stop. We're not gonna be resting the ball each time and counting. We're gonna keep going and see how we can do. So obviously trying to use both feet and maybe both knees if we can as well. Okay, so we're just gonna see, without bouncing or with a bounce, it's up to you, how many you can do. So how many keepy uppies can you do? Can you keep that ball moving all the time? And like I say here, all I'm trying to do is use my laces 
to just bring that ball back towards me. I'm not kicking it too hard. If I kick it too hard or too high, it's going to make it really, really difficult for me to control. So it's just all about moving that ball, okay, and uh, using our laces to keep it under control as much as we can. Okay, now here's a couple maybe for a couple of the older players. Okay, so obviously I'm expecting the older players to maybe to be able to do their, already be practicing their keep ups, maybe be slightly more advanced. So maybe now we're going to look at a few different types of tricks we might be able to do. So we'll start off, okay, obviously no bouncing. Can we look to get in and around the world in there? Okay, so what you want it to look like, slightly like that. Can you get one of those in there? Can you try and keep that ball again under control when you're doing it though? Okay, see how many of those you can do, but what I want to see when you're doing your around the world is I want to see it under control. I don't want it going all over the place. So I'll break down how to maybe do an around the world. Um, I think the best way to try and learn it is, again, balance to start with. So can you just roll that ball back? and keep it balanced on your foot for as long as possible. Once you've got that balance in there, okay, and you're able to keep that ball nice and still, it makes it a lot easy, easier to be able to do that motion and getting your leg all the way around the ball. Just get us used to moving our foot around the ball. What you might want to do to start with is look at bouncing it or dropping the ball, moving your foot around it, flicking the ball up and then trying to catch it rather than trying to start straight away. So what you might want to do is a little bounce, Flick it up, catch it. Just to get you used to that motion. Obviously the higher you drop the ball, the more it's gonna come up. So maybe just a bit of a lower bounce to make you move your foot around the ball that little bit quicker. And again, I'm using my laces to flick the ball back up again. See how you get on, see how many of those you can do. Okay, so like I've shown you, that part where we're trying to balance the ball on our foot, okay, and then the part there where I'm trying to flick it around, we're going to put those two together now. So what I want you to try and do is balance that on the, on the part of your foot there. And it's a flick up after that. So can you just roll it around and try and flick it up? If it's too hard to start with, it is difficult, try it with a bounce. Try it with a bounce. Can you flick it up? L really, really difficult, okay? Older players, and see, see if you can do it. Send your attempts in with, with having a go. Can you try and roll it back off the floor? Flick it up, little around the world, back into your hands. Give it a go.